What is up guys, Ian here from CoCareer today, taking that mindset of lack to a mindset of abundance. Today I just want to talk about intentions and what really intentions uh, kind of do for us and how we can use intentions to, to really, really set the mood for what we're about to achieve and do. So I made a video about intentions in February, I believe, in the same exact stop, spot. Uh, just kind of got a new camera, got a new tripod, new gear, so I can uh, come to you with a new video uh, just to talk about intentions and what I've uh, evolved into and how I can talk about intentions and how it's helped me along my journey. So first off, intentions kind of set the mood for things. Instead of expectation where you're expecting an end result, intentions kind of set the mood for a generalized result. And that generalized result could be anything that you want. However, when you set intentions, you're going in to a, uh, an action with a idea of how it could end and how it should end. And that's an intention. Intention is how, it could and would come through. So with intentions, I try to set intentions all, this, all the time. Before I go build my business, before I create YouTube videos, before I uh, connect with like other people, I, I wanna set this intention of uh, gratitude and just love and really go into then specifics. So, Another way intentions sets the mood is it can be whatever you want. Instead of an expectation, like I said earlier, intentions generalize uh, topics. So let's say I want to make an intention that I connect with individuals in uh, a short amount of time. Well, I can set that intention and actually have a idea of how that might turn out. I might be able to connect with one person, two persons, but the level at which we connect with ultimately is returned through that true intention. I use intentions all the single all the time. I even like probably use them too much, but the thing with me is I want to set my eyes for the sky. I want to set goals for myself. And the only way to really do that is to really have an understanding of the foundations that you're lying upon. And I feel like intentions really set the ground for you to expand from there. Intentions are kind of like a category or uh, an idea. It's, it's something that you can really expand off of. Like let's say like it could be a genre of music. We could have uh, we could have like a a guitar. We have a electric guitar. But the styles of music that we could create with that guitar is kind of unlimited. We could do rock. We could do jazz. We could do blues. We could do heavy metal. We could do um, a, like not necessarily acoustic, but potentially like country. So that guitar is our intention and how we use that intention is kind of based on what we're after what could be so really setting that intention and being specific is how you're going to really end up achieving what you wanted to achieve so how might we use intentions to start guiding our lives into the right direction? Well, first I would have an intention of grace. I would be like, thank you uh, for this amazing opportunity to be here. Uh, thank you for just this beautiful day. It's kind of overcast, it's kind of chilly, but I like it. So I, I give grace on those things and then I set the intention. What do I want to achieve? I want to achieve creating relationships with other people, building a business and a foundation so I can connect with more and more people, knowing my surroundings and building uh, 
self-sufficiency for myself. So having that right intention sets a foundation and then I can get specific on that intention and it will arise in long term. That's the thing with intentions. Intentions don't happen right out the bat. Sometimes they do, uh, very nonchalantly, however. But it's long term. It's, this is a long term type of mind. If you're going to build a business, you have to think long time. If you're going to build a, a body, you're going to have to think long time. So intentions kind of set the the ground for what you want to achieve in the long run. And I think that's the most important thing is we need to tune our brains into what we want to achieve and set the intentions into doing so. So what are your intentions? I hope they're uh, beautiful, blissful, and really abundant. And hopefully you're using those intentions to guide your way to the best possible life you can live. So I hope you guys like this video. If you like these videos, go ahead and click subscribe. Other than that, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I'll catch you later. Namaste.